So now they're throwing around the word misinformation. Well, was we misinformed when we heard what we heard directly from her mouth? Uh, and the federal relief and assistance that we have been providing has included um, FEMA providing $750. And was we also misinformed when the director of FEMA, Marokis, came out and said what he said? Or did he misspeak? We are meeting the immediate needs uh, with the money that we have. We are expecting another hurricane hitting. Uh, we do not have the funds. FEMA does not have the funds to make it through the season. Now, since y'all want to say everything is so misinformation and misinformed, I just have a few questions. That's it. Is the critical needs payout of $750 only a one-time payout per household, not per person, and you would need to qualify, which also indicates that you may be denied? Just asking. What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me today. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit the like button because that's the most important thing you can do for me on this channel. What it does, that helps to make sure that those who are subscribed to the channel will indeed get their notifications and also helps to push this video through the YouTube algorithm as well. Secondly, if you're new to the channel or maybe you've been ghost watching the channel for quite some time now, please do me a favor and yourself a favor by hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. And lastly, please make sure you share this video out on your social media platforms to your family and friends to inform them on this loose information and yes that does help to give me a slight boost in the youtube algorithm as well and with the introduction out of the way let's get into today's news <sighs> it is unbelievable to me how you can literally blame donald trump for anything and everything whatever is wrong in your life you spilt your coffee this morning your alarm didn't go off and you were late to work. Maybe you caught a flat tire on your way to work. Whatever the issue is, whatever the problem is, blame Donald Trump. You can do that for sure. And that's what we're getting ready to watch here. We're seeing now that Kamala Harris is amping up her interview output uh, because the reality is, is that she's struggling badly in the polling. Uh, and if we're going based off of her polling numbers compared to Biden and Clinton, she's going to get destroyed this election because Donald Trump always overperforms his polls. And because hiding Kamala in the basement has not worked up until this point, now the interviews are coming out more and more and more. She was recently on The View, and I want you to just sit and listen to her discuss the FEMA disaster relief and how FEMA's lackluster approach at helping citizens in the midst of a disaster on top of them running out of money, not because that's what I said, because I'm spewing misinformation, but because that's what Alejandro Mallorca said. I want you to see how Kamala Harris and The View were able to blame that on Trump. Unbelievable. Kamala, and I'm calling you Kamala because for all of those who are mispronouncing it, I want you all to know how to say it. <laughs> Shut up. It's worth the pause. It's unbelievable how they're able to just harp so much on Kamala versus Kamala. Meanwhile, these people consistently refer to Trump as the man with the little mustache, the main character of World War II. Listen to the CNN clip very quickly before we get back into this clip from The View, where they're literally going to tell you that if Donald Trump gets back in office, he's going to start exterminating people based on their genes. If you're not Aryan race, Donald Trump is going to apparently exterminate you think that i'm joking i'm not let's get into it long known that donald trump has revered uh the nazis he has revered hitler he's read his book he used to say he had it on his nightstand donald trump has had a very sinister philosophy um wanting to be a dictator uh absolutely dividing people up based on who they are based on factors about them that have to do with their race and their gender, et cetera. And when he uses language like this, I don't think that it's a Freudian slip. 
I think that the danger of a Donald Trump is that he would absolutely try to uh, exterminate an entire group of people because he thinks that their genes are somehow different than his and faulty. And I say this with all the sternness that you hear in my voice. Lord have mercy. Anyways, like I said, it was worth me pausing it. Let's just get back into the view. Let's just let's just get back into the view. About something you would do different from Donald Trump. Right now, there is a monster storm bar barreling yeah. towards my state of Florida, yeah. a place that's still reeling from Hurricane Helene. Mm. Trump is lying, claiming that yeah. the Biden administration is intentionally withholding aid from the areas where Republicans live, and that FEMA fund. He literally never said the Biden administration is intentionally withholding aid. He never said that. All these wicked demons do is lie. Funds are being redirected to migrants. Ironically, that is something he did in yeah. 2019. What do you think the effect of these lies are? And why is he doing this? Well, it's... Okay profound and it is the height of irresponsibility and frankly callousness mm -hmm. yeah. so lives are literally at stake right now i w i travel to georgia and to north carolina after hurricane helene seven to eight days too late but carry on a week later while biden was chilling on the beach and you were doing podcasts with call her daddy a freak off podcast but carry on in georgia i met a woman who just days earlier, her husband was killed in their home by a fallen tree. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, that was Donald Trump's fault. Days later, I met with her and her daughter. You can imagine the pain, the shock that they are still in about what they experienced, what they witnessed. Yeah. I mean, we're talking about real human beings and their lives and them losing everything, everything. <laughs> everything. This woman lost her husband, her child lost her father. Mm -hmm. People are losing their home with no hope of ever being able to reconstruct or, or return. Yeah. Well, if they were your migrants, Harris's migrants, they'd be getting free housing like so many of your migrants are getting all across the country. But I digress, carry on. And the idea that somebody would be playing political games for the sake of himself, but this is so consistent about Donald yeah. Trump. Mm -hmm. He puts himself mm -hmm. before the needs of others. I, I, I fear that he really lacks empathy mm -hmm. yeah. on a very basic level oh, to yeah. care about the suffering of other people and then understand the role of a leader is, is not to beat people down, it's to lift people yeah. up. Absolutely. Especially in a time of crisis. <laughs> I, I, this is just, listening to this garbage is so difficult. They're creating a narrative from a lie. You are asked a question, well, what are these lies that uh, Donald Trump is telling how are they affecting, you know, FEMA response? How are they affecting, you know, the aftermath of the hurricane as it pertains to people needing help? Because he's spreading such vicious lies because, you know, he is uh, 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 an admirer of the man with the small mustache. Kamala Harris, because it's all nonsense, proceeds to tell us a story about a tree that fell on a man and killed him. And I'm not making a light of that. Let's not, that's not something to laugh about. But I don't know what that has to do with Donald Trump. I don't know what a tree falling on you in the middle of a hurricane, how is that Donald Trump's fault? What are we even talking about or discussing here? This is the foolishness that they put forth as news, as information, and as truth. And when you call this foolishness out for what it is, you and I are the ones that are pushing misinformation. Unbelievable. But that's the America that we're living in today under the Harris-Biden administration. And this type of foolishness is only going to amplify if Harris gets back into office. And with all that being said, that does it for today's news. So I wanna thank you all for joining me today. Please hit the like button on your way out. 
subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. And also please share this video on your social media platforms to your family and friends. And don't forget to follow me on Telegram and Rumble. It is extremely important that you do so. Please follow me on Telegram and Rumble at TV Media Group. The link to my Telegram and Rumble will be in the description box below and pinned in the comment section as well. Thank you all for your time and until the next video, peace and have a great afternoon.